Ransomware now is one of the biggest threats to the enterprise and is executed through spoofed and unsuspecting phishing email. This calls for a secure email and messaging application and a very good information security awareness amongst the users. Hello and welcome to Information Security Governance Risk and Compliance. My name is Salvador and today we will review email security. Let's get started. Point number one, SPF, DKIM and DMARC. SPF, DKIM and DMARC are authentication methods that helps prevent spam and phishing attacks. Ensure these settings are appropriately configured. First, send a policy framework. SPF settings help organizations to protect against spoofing and phishing and help prevent genuine messages from being marked as spam in the mailbox. SPF records list all the IP addresses of all the servers that are allowed to send emails from the domain. To check SPF entry of a domain, type the following command on the command prompt and press enter. You will see an SPF entry as follows in the result. These are the list of servers from which the emails are allowed. It can be IPv4 or IPv6. Domain keys undefined mail DKIM enables domain owners to automatically sign emails from their domain to verify that the email came from that particular domain. In short, DKIM digitally signs and authenticates email messages. To check the DKIM entry of a domain, type the following command on the command prompt. Get the DKM selector parameter mark in yellow from the DKM signature in the email header. You can see the RSA key defined in the result. Domain based message authentication reporting and conformance DMARC provides instructions to the receiving email server whether to quarantine, reject, or deliver the emails that fails. To authenticate using SPF or DKM checks. To check the DMARC for a domain, type the following command on the prompt and press enter. We will see the DMARC entry as follows in the result. Ensure the values of policy as defined here as reject or quarantine. There are many online tools available to check SPF, DKM and DMARC configurations of a domain. Point number two, configurations. Ensure IP-based reputation filtering is configured to restrict or block malicious IPs. For reported spam emails, check whether web reputation of the URL is updated in the email gateway. Make sure maximum recipients per message and maximum size of the incoming or outgoing email is set as per the best practices. Check that the file extensions that are required to be restricted are configured appropriately. Ensure that sending emails to free webmail like Gmail is restricted as per the policy. Also check if auto forwarding of emails to outside domain is disabled. Ensure that the access to quarantine configuration is restricted to privileged users only. Point number three, access control. Ensure that multi-factor authentication is enabled for all the admin and privileged accounts. Make sure that a strong password policy is implemented and is as per the company policy. Point number four, logging and backup. Make sure email server is integrated with SIM for event logs and performance data. Ensure DLP is implemented for O365 and alerts are configured appropriately. Make sure email and log retention policy is defined and the logs are retained as per the policy. Check if the exchange data is backed up and encrypted as per the requirement or the policy. 
and ensure O365 is enabled with anti-malware and ransomware protection. And finally, point number five, VAPT and secure configuration. Check and verify that the Exchange server is subject to a regular vulnerability assessment and a penetration testing is performed at least annually. Also ensure that security patches are applied to the application as well as the underlying infrastructure. Check and verify that secure configuration document is defined and implemented with the required parameter settings based on standard benchmarks like CIS. Ensure spear phishing, password spray and brute force attack simulation testing is performed regularly. And finally, check and verify whether IOCs received from threat intel subscription or regulatory bodies are blocked and most importantly, cyber security awareness trainings and sessions are conducted for all the users and all the users are trained to detect and report suspicious emails. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe, like and share. See you in the next video.